So what was it like for you to reprise this role again as Harold in the new Harold and Kumar 2? Real easy. We, um, the filmmakers and Cal and I, we're, we're all good friends at this point, you know, having done the first one and, and uh, you know, we see each other regularly. We're re actual friends, so it was really easy to come back to it. What was it like then to work with Cal and the other cast members in the movie since you've worked with them before? The word is that comes to mind is depressing. Um, <laughs> it's tough when you're the most talented guy on the set and everyone is a hack. So it's, it's, it's hard. Uh, it was a really good time. Uh, <laughs> Why should college students go out to see this movie? Uh, uh, college students like good times, right? <laughs> Last I checked? Yeah. That's what we got. College students love good times. Yeah. Now, what would you say makes this movie different from the first one? A lot of people loved Harold and Kumar, the first one, going to White Castle. A couple of things. I mean, I think we, as because it's a sequel, we try to ramp up everything and uh, take it a step further than the first one. So, you know, the political and racial humor is a little bit, uh, we got, we took a step further with the sex jokes, is, took a step further. Um, and the stakes, you know, the first one was plotless. We, you know, just two guys trying to get to a burger place and then a bunch of things happen. And in this movie, we have a plot. There's, the, you know, our lives are at risk. So it's just really more ramped up. One of the major themes in this movie is about weed. And I was just wondering, what is your stance on weed just overall as far as why do you think it's so universal? And why do you think it crosses socioeconomic levels the way that it does? Oh, geez. Uh, I, it just seems... <laughs> that's a big question. It does seem like one of the more useful plants in the world. I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, I'll, uh, you'll have to email me an answer when you find one. Because that's heavy. Very cool. And then you also did talk about the different uh, socio, not socioeconomic levels, but the racial stereotypes that were exploited in the movie. Yeah. Why did you guys decide to go that route and exploit all those stereotypes? Well, I just feel, you know, I, 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 you know, in the this, in this sequel, like I say, it's something that people expected from the first movie. But um, I think that it's kind of organic when you have um, the two main characters uh, be Asian American, you know, and and. That's to, to a certain degree, that's going to happen because it happens in real life. You know, uh, people see you through um, people. People have a difficult time seeing beyond your color sometimes. So, mm -hmm. so it felt like that was organic, and they decided to run with it. You know, definitely. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you so much.